Welcome back, Jagoffs. Now, of course, the big kitty here has stopped running again. And I've already checked that she has spark and that the fuel pump is still running, which has kind of been an ongoing issue with this car. So now I'm going to check the injectors. And I'm gonna do that using something called a Noid light. Now, what is a Noid light, you might ask? A Noid light? No, it's not that kind of Noid. They're little incandescent lamps that you can plug into your fuel injector plugs to test to make sure that they're firing. They're specifically designed to be similar to the impedance of an injector. And they have a very low current draw, so they don't damage the ECU. Now I bought this little kit off of Amazon for like 27 bucks, I think. But if you want to rent them, you can find them at most auto supply stores in their tool ending section. They're really simple to use. All you have to do is pop off your injector plug, find the correct light, and plug her in. And all you have to do is just crank it over and watch for the light to flash as the ECU tries to pulse the injector. Well, I didn't see any flashes of light, did you? And for reference, this is what a Noid light should look like. So now that we know that the injectors aren't getting their pulsing signal, we have to check to see if they're even getting power. And to do that, we're gonna use a logic probe. Now the way a logic probe works is you hook it up to a power source and ground. And if you touch it to ground, it lights up green. And if you touch it to the power, it lights up red. Well, I had an ID10T error with the camera, so unfortunately I didn't have any footage of me using the logic probe to test the connector. But what I found was that both sides of the connector was showing positive voltage, and that is not good. Troubleshooting this is definitely going to take longer than the scope of this video, so please stay tuned.